a tfwire.com video review. Hey, this is Matrix Prime of tfwire.com with my video review of the Transformers movie deluxe Camaro Concept Bumblebee. Yes, that's the official name for the car mode here, the Camaro Concept. So the debate rages on whether or not this is a 2008 or 2009 model car. In any case, it is a Camaro. And unlike the original uh, deluxe Bumblebee figure that was released in Wave 1, uh, the yellow on this figure is not only darker, but it's also shinier. As you can see here, the light's reflecting off it uh, pretty much all over. And like the, the uh, original Bumblebee, uh, we also have some black racing stripes on the hood here. And those end on the uh, trunk area here. And if we look at the back of the figure, you can see that the taillights are painted red. The exhaust pipes here on the dual exhaust system are painted silver. And if we look at the side of the car here, you can see the, the rims are painted silver as well. And the tires are black, and no, they are not rubber. They do feel a little rubbery, uh, but they are definitely plastic. And if we look here, just in front of the door here, I'm not sure how well this comes across in the video, but in silver lettering, it does say Camaro here. And if we look on the front of the car, also painted silver are the headlights, the uh, uh, fog lights here, as well as the uh, Chevy symbol here on the center of the car. And the grill, as well as the grill here in the uh, bumper, are painted black. Uh, now, one of the big gripes people had about the uh, Bumblebee from Wave 1 was that the, win the, the windshield and the windows themselves were painted blue, uh, rather than being a translucent see-through, uh, like in the version that the Japanese got. Well, on uh, the Camaro Concept Bumblebee here, uh, we got some translucent blue plastic windows, uh, so people should be happy about that. Um, as you can see, the windshield, the side windows, as well as the rear window here are made of the translucent blue plastic. Now, because they are translucent, you can see inside them. However, there is no interior detailing. Uh, there's no uh, dashboard, no steering wheel or anything. Uh, all you see are robot parts in there. So, But in any case, you can see through them. Now, you can also open the doors up in this mode for a little bit of added realism. As you can see, we can open the doors up. Now, if we look inside there, once again, all you're going to see are robot parts. Uh, but people should be happy that um, the doors do open. Overall, I really like the, uh, the Camaro Concept design. It's a little boxy, yet very stylistic and uh, fast looking as well. And I sort of like that combination. I'm probably going to give this mode a 9.5 out of 10. Um, I'm just being a little picky here. I would have liked to have seen rubber wheels. But other than that, I really have absolutely no complaints about the car mode whatsoever. So with that said, let me show you the transformation to robot mode now. And to start, we're going to go ahead and open the doors again. Next, we're going to take the roof panels here. Go ahead and slide them apart. And the back also came undone, so we're going to go ahead and remove the weapon, which is stored in there, and set that aside for now. Next, we're going to take the uh, front wheels here, grab on them, and pull these sections out. We're going to go ahead and pull the roof panels out a little bit further just to get them out of the way. Now we're going to take the uh, front wheels here and rotate that entire section up so that the uh, doors are now facing down. Go ahead and get these panels up out of, out of the way a little bit further. Now we're going to go ahead and take the windshield and fold that down, flip the figure around here, and take the uh, hood of the car, make sure these arms are out of the way, take the hood of the car here and go ahead and fold that down onto the chest. And, if, and before we finish that, let's go ahead and push the arms as far back as they'll go. That allows the chest to fully come down. And it also rotates the, shoulder, the shoulders back a little bit, if you can see here. That's part of the uh, automorph. Alright, so now that the shoulders are as back as far as they go, we'll go ahead and flip the, the doors up here. We rotate the shoulders around to get the arms in place. Uh, now the uh, forearms here have the, these car panels attached to them. All you have to do is rotate the panels 180 degrees here to get them out of the way. And before we finish the transformation process here with the legs, I want to comment on the uh, shoulders here for a second. As you can see, they have these little uh, 
uh, botanical car pieces attached to them here. Now, uh, during the transformation process, if you hit them, uh, they can fall off. Um, so just be careful not to lose these pieces. They shouldn't come off, but um, they might. So just a little word of warning to you there. All right, so onto the legs here. Go ahead and separate those. And we'll grab the feet here. And just flip this entire section down. And we get the legs automorphing here. Now you have to manually go ahead and ex fully extend the feet here. And flip the uh, heel down to complete the leg transformation. And lastly, you just take the uh, panels here, which are on the side of the knee, and flip them up. Go ahead and get the figure standing up straight here, situated. And we now have the Camaro Concept Bumblebee in robot mode. Now, it's, the uh, color scheme is practically the same as it was in uh, car mode. The only difference here is we do have some dark blue on the crotch area. And we also have the uh, license plate up here in the abdominal region as well. Other than that, the colors are exactly the same in the yellow and black and also silver. Now if you look here you can also see the black Autobot symbol up here in the center of the chest as well. As far as articulation on this figure, well the head can rotate 360 degrees, they can pivot up and down, the arms can uh, move in and out of the body and rotate up here at the shoulder, they can bend at the elbow, you can rotate the hands and also move them up and down ever so slightly. Uh, the legs can move in and out of the body, they can move forward and backward, they can bend at the knee, and you can also move the feet up and down a little bit as well. Now one other thing on this figure here as far as articulation is concerned, uh, you can swivel the upper body a little bit too. Um, that movement is sort of limited due to the uh, windshield back here and, and the uh, place that it's uh, located here in robot mode. Uh, but you do have a little bit of upper body movement here. That's pretty much it as far as articulation is concerned. Let me now show you the uh, weapon that um, I took off during the uh, transformation process here. And if you look at it, move the figure back a little bit here. If you look at it, it sort of resembles the gun that uh, Bumblebee used in the movie. Now unlike the movie character, um, this is a separate piece. Of course, the arm doesn't transform into the gun here. Uh, there's no place to store it in the uh, deluxe figure here. But you can go ahead and attach it to the hand here. Just clip it on there. And as you can see, it, it resembles the movie gun uh, uh, pretty nicely. Now, the instructions don't officially show the gun in the hand like this. Um, what the instructions show are to take the gun here and go ahead and split it in half and fold these pieces back and you get this nice translu translucent blue plastic blade slash knife slash dagger slash whatever you want to call it. Um, personally I prefer the gun I think that looks better uh, but two weapons in one are is kinda nice so uh, but yes I prefer the gun. Uh, overall I think this is a really excellent deluxe figure in fact it's probably the one of the better Bumblebee figures we've ever had. I might even like it better than the classic uh, Bumblebee figure and I like that one uh, quite a bit so uh, I'm probably going to give the robot mode here a 9.5 out of 10. Um, that's what I gave the car mode as well. The only thing knocking the uh, score down from a 10 here in my opinion is the uh, little bit of lack of movement here in the upper body. We do have some movement but why not go all the way and give us full uh, range of movement here. But in any case, here's the figure in robot mode. Again, car mode 9.5 nine out, out of 10, robot mode 9.5 nine out of 10. Um, I just picked this figure up today. Um, apparently, people are having a hard time finding it. It just came out as of uh, uh, a week and a half ago. Um, so if you can't find it yet, be patient. Don't hit up eBay. Oh, and I did forget something here. On the chest, you can go ahead and manually flip up the sides of the chest here um, to sort of separate that from the uh, center of the, the hood here to sort of give it that uh, automorph look.
There we go. I know me to get some comments that you transformed it wrong, so I thought I'd better show that as well. Uh, but yes, if you can find the figure, definitely pick it up. Um, if you have the choice between this one and the Wave 1 um, older Camaro, definitely go for the Camaro Concept Bumblebee. I highly recommend it.